Hello and welcome to the Hanseatic city of Bremen. We're here at the Von Invest Weserstadion. My name is Derek Ray and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is live action from the Zweite Bundesliga. It's Werder Bremen and they take on Jan Regensburg. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game, but you could make a strong case for this man, I think, Stuart. What are you expecting to see from him? Well, his recent form speaks for itself. Three goals in the last three games, and he's playing with great confidence at the moment. Every chance he could add to that tally today. And a look at the starting 11 for Werder Bremen. Well, when they don't have possession, it will be a back five. But when they win the ball back, the wing backs will push further forward to make it a 3 5 2. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, it's the basic 4 4 2 formation, but played well, it can be really effective. And key to its success are the wide midfield players. They have to be fit. They need to be able to run with the ball and they need to double up with their fullbacks. It's a really tough role for them. And now they get the ball rolling. Schmidt. Here's Füllkrug. Christian Groß. Excellent passing. Chance to do damage. Weiser. Groß. A danger here as he runs at them. And let's give credit to the defending. Well, on you go, says the referee. Advantage. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Chance to finish! Oh, really sound goalkeeping. Well, that's such a good save, isn't it? How did he keep that one out? And he'll go back and hand out a yellow card here. Yeah, he was always going to go back for that poor one, you have to say. Who can they pick out? Well, that was quality. Last ditch defending. So the corner played into the box. Well, the timing was good, but the attempt too high. Friedel. Bittenkurt, Romano Schmidt, Groß, into the advanced position, and the attack carried an initial threat but fizzled out, Weiser, 
The outcome is a goal kick here. Benedict Gimba. Decent position. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Can they hit on the break? Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Well, that's the end of that move for now. Well, they might be onto something. That's all they can conjure for now. Jung. Marco Friedel now. Anthony Jung. Well, as expected, Werder Bremen have had more of the ball so far. But in terms of creating chances, they've been well below their normal standards. Unless that changes quickly, it's going to be a really frustrating day for them. And intercepts again. How can he take them on and beat them? But nothing comes of it. Phil Krug. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Bittencourt. Beautifully disguised ball, off the post and back in play. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. Fulkrug. Krug. Precise ball movement. Cutting the ball back. And a goal! To open the scoring! No wonder they're celebrating! Well, here's the replay. He's done well to get his head up, pick out a teammate, and it's a very tidy finish because there's still a lot of work to do. That's a really good goal. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, he certainly had an impact on that first half, scoring that late goal, but I thought his overall contribution was really good, and he got better as the half wore on. And now they get the... The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Jung. Schmidt. Ball with Bittencourt. Tremendous ball played through.
Well, here's the replay, and you see it was a good finish. But the keeper at his near post has to do a lot better. He's got to have that near post covered for me. Well, a second goal for them here. Moving the ball forward with purpose. But they took care of the situation defensively. Well, the stats confirm it. Werder Bremen have had the lion's share of possession. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball which has made them so hard to play against here. And it makes them such a good team. It's been a brilliant performance so far. And a throw-in forthcoming. Well, they've decided to make a change. Space and time for the cross. Oh, great attacking play. But the danger averted for now. Now we're into the final half hour. And the cross goes in. He read it well, but still work to do. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Can they find a gap in the defence? To prove it. Well, there it is. Quite clearly, it takes a deflection, and that's enough to beat the keeper. Not much he could do there. Three goals without reply. time tackle and into the last 20 minutes Marvin Dux really a very poor ball Otto with it and possibilities here and unable to keep the ball well to win the ball back and nicely struck and the goalkeeper covered a lot to push that away from danger Marvin Dux It's opening up for them. Well, a promising looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. Could be a chance to break here. Sing. And given the defender's touch, the referee says corner. They will now make use of the substitutes bench.
playing it in and the keeper able to hold on to it Marvin Dux here's Fulkrug fruitful looking attack well no way through And there it is, the final whistle, and the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on their faces. Well, Derek, they were the better team all over the pitch. We saw good individual performances, we saw an attack which was always threatening, and they played really well. What a performance that was today. His performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Stuart. Well, I thought he was excellent. Not only did he score a good goal, but his general play was outstanding. He certainly played a major part in their win here today.